Today's adventure begins as a recording of this Saturday, June 24, 2023, looking out my hotel window into Universal Studios Hollywood, where an event is taking place this evening by the name of Dark Arts. After nightfall rears its head, Wizarding World of Harry Potter will transform into the Dark Arts. An event that, when I was here the first two weeks of this month, was not happening. So I decided I'd pop back in towards this time frame of the month and see what's happening. It just coincidentally worked out the 1st through the 14th when I was here. It wasn't happening. But now it is, and I'm back to check it out. In just a moment, I'm going to walk down there to the red carpet in the globe. But first, going to walk watch the seaplane jump off here from Waterworld, which should momentarily happen. There it goes. Love this view. Look at that. So they're going to do some projections on the castle. They're going to have some special characters as well. Curious to see if they're going to have any special merchandise. There's Flight of the Hippogriff going by. Or special foods. Also, you get a pretty good view of downtown L.A. over there, off in the distance. It's very zoomed in, but check out the fire dive. Incredible. Now, a few years ago, I was here, and my mom was visiting. I don't even think I even did a video of it, but they did the projections on the castle and the dark arts. But this time, I'm going to do an episode. I'm going to check it out see what it's all about and just enjoy the day in the park until nightfall rears its head it's about 3 45 4 p.m right now and i'm just delaying the intro because i want to showcase this look at this it's gonna it's the the final moments the grand finale if you will it's the start of the vlog the grand finale of the water world spectacular down there I've showed this before, but always worth showing again from a little different angle, a little different room that I had in the past. Look at that. Nice. It's dark arts time. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. This event goes on till August 17th, according to the site. Select dates, which I am taking that to mean only on the weekends. It also prefaces from dusk until close, the park closes at 10. I am wearing an appropriate t-shirt and Ravenclaw lanyard and a couple pins as well. I have my annual pass dangling from it as well. And take a look at this. It's almost like a holster for, look at this, it's like right here on my belt loop. And I have he who shall not be named wand. It's the only wand I own, so that's the one I brought. So I'm going to do some spells in there as well. But Team Ravenclaw, that's the house I belong to. I'm inviting you to join me. Let's get in there. Or I'll cast a spell on you. Shall you? Park's open till 10. I am I'm incorrect. I stand corrected. It goes on select dates. It started back on the 17th. And goes till August 13th, not the 17th. Located in Wizarding World, find a moment of hope hidden in the darkness. Now I have heard there is a rumor that there might be some Death Eaters walking around. But I'm reading this and it doesn't give any clues other than it's going to be on the projection. Ooh, they, they do not put he who should not be named. They actually called him by his real title right there. Shouldn't say that right there, but yeah. It's located at Hogwarts Castle. In the upper lot, Universe Studios. Hollywood. And I'm looking at these fish over here. It says, do not feed the fish, but I could possibly cast a spell and feed them with this. No, don't eat the wand. Don't eat the wand, fish. Don't eat the wand. I don't know what a feeding spell would be. I gotta brush up on my wizardry. The all-seeing minion looks over the valley. I believe that one koi fish was casting a spell with me with his eyes and mouth. He was staring intently and almost speaking a spell. Not a speaking spell, but speaking 
a spell. Now I mentioned this yesterday that you can just walk over to the theme park from the room at the Hilton if you stay here where I'm staying. All you have to do is go down the elevator, walk out the lobby, walk around this side, and then head up. There's also a shuttle, so this shuttle runs back and forth all day. Or you can choose to walk down this little incline, up that hill, and across the bridge. And right there, where that flagpole is, is the entrance to the park. Another look there at the hotel. And this is the walkway. So you gotta cross over here. Just follow this. And then up and over that to the park. A little flight of stairs to walk up first. Should also mention that. So you go up these stairs, over that, and then as you cross over the bridge, continue walking. You go through the checkpoints, or the screenings, and check your pockets and fanny packs and backpacks and all that. And then you go see the globe, which has not been moving. The globe has not been moving, which before the globe would move, but now it's not moving. But the globe is here, the iconic globe and the red carpet entering in to USH, University of Hollywood, later to be transformed to the Wizarding World, Dark Arts. Now, I'm not quite at Wizarding World yet, but so the main gift shop has a lot of different uh, merch from the different houses. Oh, we even got Dobby over here reading a book. Here's even a, here's even a Death Eater mask right there. Oh, you can even buy a Dobby and you can push him and he makes some noises and well, you can carry Dobby around Wizarding World if you so choose. Even a little uh, Buckbeak uh, ornament here. I guess it's like a paper paperweight, Buckbeak paperweight right here. And check out this little shield keychain item here. This has my name on it right here. It has all the different houses, but it says Adam. All right, just to wait for the just to wait for the sun to go down I'm on the tram now. Actually right up there is Hitchcock. I should show everyone in the video now. A lot of people have joined the party here. Look at this. We got the back seats of the tram. We're all gonna do some dark arts later once the sun goes down. Uh, I, I should have brought my wand. Hufflepuff, no. Gryffindor, Down there on the driveway, Hufflepuff, the Slytherin. I know you're Slytherin. Offices, what are you, David? They are making a wicked movie right now. <laughs> I'm Ravenclaw. Very, very exciting. It's coming in two. Team Ravenclaw. I'm the only Ravenclaw. Out here. Thanksgiving of next year. <laughs> and that stars <laughs> and it looks like we are going to be going to Hill Valley too. Where we have our large-scale exterior sets for outdoor filming. That's where we're going to be spending the majority. Beautiful. This beautiful building on your left might look familiar. Some people know it as the courthouse from To Kill a Mockingbird starring Gregory Peck, but most people remember it as the clock tower from Back to the Future. Oh, yes. Heading into the heart of the Metro sets, we're going to be turning onto New York Street. It's time for Big City. This is the longest street we have here on the Metro sets, designed, of course, to look just like New York City. Like the chicken ranch we passed earlier. So, from one of the most historic sets on the lot to one of the largest sets in film history. All right, heading over to Wizarding World now. Take a look at it. They have torn down the animal actor stage now. The animal actor stage is completely gone. Erased your existence. Now, from here, we're going to make our way into Hogsmeade, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and we're going to get something to eat. A group of six of us. Oh, snow capped roof lines and everything. We've got the train. What's that? I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm going to get the feast. We're going to feast. I'm noticing there's a lot of crates out that aren't usually out here. I don't know if that's for the event or just a weird coincidence. And one thing I've wanted to try for a long time is the great feast. A feast on bountiful combination of herb roast chicken, spare ribs, corn of the cob, fresh vegetables, and roasted potatoes. I think there's enough of us. We're gonna get a couple other items, but I'm also gonna get the platter for four. Okay, I'm waiting for the photo to show up for the great feast. There it is, the great feast right there. All those items, a lot of corn. All right, I'm gonna say that's probably our feast pulling up here, which it looks like there's ribs, there's chicken, there's vegetables. It's like there's some kind of like sliced potatoes right there. That is a lot of food. We got this and a couple other items. All right. Oh, no. All right, this is a table fit for a feast. 
there's more coming too, but like we got this and then a couple other little sides and some desserts and things like that as well. I got the gilly water. You got a lemonade yeah. over here. We got the feast going in. There's a butter beer, regular beer. Fish and chips. Fish and chips over here. What's in here? These are just plates oh, just for the whole. Just, yeah. just extra plates. Yeah. That's very good. We're, we're definitely going to be full after this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. Oh, what about go first? You got the ribs, you got the potatoes, you got the broccoli and the other assorted veggies, you got the corn. All right, I'm gonna perform a spell here that all this is gonna be eaten without any heartburn. What's the heartburn spell? Yes, heartburn spell, I like that. What is it? What is what? What's the heartburn spell? Amiposol. Amiposol. <laughs> Tum. Tum. Pepto. I do like corn on the cob. Ribs? Yeah, I'm kind of impartial on the ribs, but I like the chicken and I like the broccoli. And all that. Cheers, water. Is that allowed? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, water. Yeah. It's all about family. Fast yeah, and furious. Yeah, right there. Drive a. What did you say? Eat up. <laughs> Drive a. Drink. Move that vehicle. Eat up. borderline going into Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? That's right. Drive a. Move that vehicle. All right. Bellies are full and now walking back out three broomsticks. Yeah, that's true. The brooms make a uh, deathly hollow just like the shirt Daphne just pointed out. Yeah, there it is. That's the, the same exact uh, three broomsticks right there. I was going to do the smoke uh, beast escape, but it says anti-jinx in place. So it doesn't work right now. The anti-jinx is in place. All wand magic will be rendered ineffective at this time. Out of all these spells, this is like my favorite. The fire spell up here is pretty good too, but this was like my favorite with the, the dragon breeze underneath the, underneath the top there. Ooh. I just made a helicopter spell. Yeah, it's the incendio spell, so you gotta go up, over, and around like that, so. Up that box with the red light. Oh, yeah. At the box? Oh, did I do I it? I did it, I did it. Did you, you did do it? that? I did. You're a, wizard. You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Gandalf. Incendio. Incendio. You did it! Wizard, Good Harry. job, wizard! <laughs> okay, we're getting the hang of this. Over to bruise and stews. There's one over here. I haven't done this one. So it's like a four. Up, up, and over. There it goes. The dragon's flying. That doesn't have an actual spell name though. Locomotor music box. Locomotor mu Locomotor music box. Locomotor music Locomotor music box. <laughs> And then up top are a bunch of owls, and there's a bunch of poop on the ground down here from the owl poop. Yeah, they're up. Oh, he's just looking at me. He's going full Linda Blair exorcist up there. It looks pretty cool with the sun kind of setting over here. Gotta go over to Honey Dukes now and find another spell. Oh, the train is like letting off some steam over there. Look at that thing. The Hogwarts Express. Rebellio. God, there you go. Like the Wait, is it what like is it? Rebellio? Rebellio. 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 Oh, or she did it, we both did it together. I it's do a dark string, two splintering strong mitts. Tongue burners. That is an right overload of jelly water right here. No one's going thirsty in Honeydukes. Now the weather right now is perfect out here. The sun is starting to set a little bit and pretty soon it'll be nighttime. Yeah, what's down this like kind of weird dark alley into Honeydukes over here? I don't know, in Incendio. The lights are on though, thank you. Everyone follow us into this weird alley of candy. Why the Honey Dudes Alley. I feel like there should be a spell back here. Right? There should be a spell right here. Yeah, All right, there's more jacket. owls inside of here as well. Oh, oh I hear the book over here grunting. <laughs> the angry book is over here. Danger. What are you doing, book? It does make noise. It's the monster book of monsters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna go on Flight of the Hippogriff first. Look at this uh, magic hour over here up against the side of the castle, but Hippogriff's right here behind these trees. Okay, Flight of the Hippogriff is what we're gonna happen right now. We're probably, oh, look up here. I never noticed a scare. I never noticed a scarecrow up there before. And there's Hagrid's motorcycle, and here's his little hut right here as well. Oh, there's Fang up in there. 
I wonder if anyone on that ride, if they, if anyone on there bowed to the hippogriff. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to bow. As well as they're going up there, it's going up, up, up. And away, they have this netting here in case anything falls out, any wands fall out or anything like that. But yeah, it's going around. This is a good, good time for it too with the magic hour, with the sun kind of setting at dusk, if you will. Going around, circling around, castle in the distance. <laughs> disoriented now. Look at the castle looks like beautiful up there. You guys handle it all right? Yeah. You did it? <laughs> Peter and David, they didn't go on this. They're hanging out over there by the castle. Wizard spells. They're doing more spells. They're a wizard, Harry. All right, one down. One more to go over here in this land. You have the back patch going on with he who shall not be named. That's the same wand I have. I have the wand he has. I'm trying to like pull it out of my little holster here. So I have his wand. It's always interesting how he kind of holds it. But who do you have in the front pocket here? I have my bow truckle, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey, my little bow truckle. Very nice. You were gonna wear your uh, your outfit. Yeah, I was gonna wear my full clothes, but it's but a little warm. It's a little, yeah, it's well, well you, you could probably get away with it now. It's like the, it's starting, the sun's starting to go down, but. That's true. Yeah, but you have your little, Little Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> forbidden journey. Forbidden journey. We are not forbidden to go on it though. We are being allowed on it because we're a wizard, Harry. Yeah, I just love the theming going through here, through the rock work and into the castle itself. And when you have the express pass, you get to go in the area that has all of the talking portraits through here. And yeah, I think the regular queue line, you don't get to go through here. So this is kind of one of the perks of the uh, having the express pass, which we all have the express pass. So the other day we went on this and this whole entire queue was completely filled up. Not as much right now. Look at that up top there. Oh, and there's the infamous Sorting hat right there. Raven claw. Oh, I can smell a dragon in here. Oh, I can I can almost hear him. Wait, like, oh I can hear the see the shadow up here. He's burning the side of the building. Oh wait, 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 is he right here? He's right here. Oh! There's the dragon. Fire breathing dragon. Oh, there's the spider. Not good. Where are we gonna eat this tree? Oh, there's another big spider. Right there. Oh, oh, spiders everywhere out here. Not good. Oh, not good. So creepy in here. Oh, there are just literally spiders everywhere. Oh, here's the tree. It's going upside down. Oh my gosh. Wow, the tree limb. Angry tree. Such an angry tree. Oh, this is a scary room right here. They're every oh, oh my god. Oh, holy cow. Can this be a little like one of the scariest rides? Oh, love it. Really horrifying. Oh my god. All right, now exiting out of the castle, they do have some of the dark art stuff kind of scattered. Look, check this out. They have the dark mark lolly. Oh, that is such a good ride. Definitely like one of my favorite like theme park rides. I just think it's so good the way they mix like practical effects with like a coaster type of thing and then like digital. It's just like, I don't know, it's just like a really groundbreaking ride. I just love it. I put that in uh, probably in my top 10 as far as technologically advanced rides. All right, now we're walking over to the boar's head and the shrunken heads up there, trying to get a hot butter beer, a couple hot butter beers. Look, there's some even like little shrunken heads up there. Okay, we were told they do not have them at the boar's head place. You have to walk back over to the main Three Broomsticks restaurant to get hot butter beer right now. This is not a coffee. This is a piping hot butter beer. I like the cold butter beer. I like the regular butter beer. I like the frosted butter beer, but I also like the warm butter beer. It looks like they've already got the castle all kind of starting to be illuminated. Do you like it? It's like the I best thing ever, right? Beer. It's the single greatest thing I've ever had. Ever. Do you like it? It's the best, right? Cheers. 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 Cheers.
to the dock ops. So basically what's going to happen is they're going to do projections on the castle itself and the castle is going to come alive with the dark arts and you know it's not too windy so I was hoping that what's going to happen is is after they all do all of the different projections on the castle itself and just almost like like I said the castle just completely comes alive and evil under the shroud of nightfall and the dark arts themselves and they do a drone show off to the left facing the castle so off to the left of the castle where the sky is illuminated with drones the last time I saw this was back I think in 2017 or 18 I think I was still living in Hollywood my mom came to visit we watched it she was very impressed. I don't even know if she's even seen any of the Potter films. In fact, at that point, I had not seen any of the Harry Potter films, but now I have watched all, watched them all in order last year and come from start to finish and definitely have a new appreciation for the land now that I have seen all the movies. I know all the characters. I know all the little nuances and all the Easter eggs and things like that. There's still a lot of stuff I don't know. There's a lot of people who know more than I do, but definitely seeing all the movies in order last year definitely understand a lot more but I have to say the dark arts and the projection on the castle it's like a lot of theme parks sometimes they look way better at night and I think Wizarding World definitely looks a lot better at night than it does during the day it's definitely a nighttime thing that was awesome uh, guiding everybody out you could do he was a few different of these shows. Maybe three or four throughout the course of the night. That was the very first one. Through the archway. And now walking back to the hotel. The Hilton. And that's going to do it for today from pretty much the same angle I started this video earlier during daylight hours. Now nightfall has definitely reared its head. Looking out the freeway going by there, the Hollywood Hills. Parks closed for the night. It was a good time hanging out with friends. dark arts looking down on Universal Studios Hollywood see the castle even though the park is closed still kind of illuminated over there as a city walk the carpet the archway everything I'll see you in the next video the vlog is over <laughs>